I gotta bring some big, strong guys in too to help me push some guys around, fight them. I got, I got a lot of movers and I got a couple of big guys. Mike Tyson isn't here to play games. With a fight just around the corner, he's made his intentions clear. I'll slaughter him. These words, heavy with intent, leave no doubt about Tyson's mindset. His training reflects his resolve. Every punch and every movement is calculated, a testament to his preparation. This isn't just talk. It's a message to Jake Paul and the world Tyson is ready to back his words with action. On day two of his rigorous training, Tyson's focus is sharper than ever. His longtime confidant, Gene Kilroy, affirms his preparedness. Kilroy's words, filled with admiration, reveal just how impressed he is. This is the strongest I've ever seen you, Kilroy says, recalling the years he's known Tyson. I was worried about him traveling here and there, but now I can sleep at night. Kilroy's endorsement underscores Tyson's relentless drive. His dedication to training sends a clear signal. He's reaching new levels of performance. Joe Rogan adds to the chorus of praise, noting Tyson's intense daily workouts. I don't care that he's 58, Rogan states. If Jake Paul looks across the ring and sees Mike Tyson bobbing and weaving, he's going to realize, oh my god, that's really Mike Tyson. Rogan's observations highlight Tyson's current physical shape, emphasizing that Tyson remains a formidable opponent despite his age. As Tyson smashes through his mitt work, Rogan notes the power and precision that made Tyson a legend. Meanwhile, Jake Paul is fully aware of the challenge he faces. He describes this as his hardest training camp yet. Sparring with heavy weights, grinding through, long runs, and working tirelessly on the track, Paul is pushing himself to his limits. Weighing in at 220 pounds, his regimen is more intense than ever. Paul's coach, Larry Wade, outlines the grueling path Jake has traveled. The last few months have been challenging, Wade explains. We had to prepare for two very different opponents, Mike Tyson and Mike Perry. Each required a distinct training approach. Wade further discusses Jake's ability to adapt quickly, shifting between two-minute rounds for Tyson and three-minute rounds for Perry demanded a new level of conditioning. Despite these challenges, Jake returned to training more focused than ever. Wade commends Jake's sacrifices, balancing intense preparation with launching a new brand. Jake sacrificed a lot, Wade says, but now he's back and lighter, which is a plus. Over the past six weeks, Jake has evolved. He's becoming a gladiator, Wade notes, emphasizing the mental and physical transformation. By fight night, Wade believes Jake will be fully prepared, ready to channel his inner warrior. Even seasoned voices express concern. Oscar De La Hoya admits he's afraid for Tyson, acknowledging the risks involved. Tyson can punch, sure, De La Hoya says, but he's 58. Jake Paul's 26, a big, strong kid. I'm scared Tyson might get hurt after the third round. De La Hoya's candid words add gravity to the matchup. Eddie Hearn offers a harsher critique, calling the fight disgusting. While he acknowledges the event's scale, Kieran laments the spectacle of a 58-year-old Tyson facing a much younger opponent. This isn't boxing, Kieran argues. It's entertainment, built off views and controversy. Despite his disapproval, Kieran concedes the fight will be a major event. It'll sell, people will watch, but as a hardcore fan, I find it sad. Jake Paul, on the other hand, remains unbothered by such criticisms. His focus is on proving himself. Paul has pushed through his toughest camp yet, sparring against bigger opponents and enduring rigorous workouts. I've made money, earned respect, and broken records, Jake says. Now, I want to show young kids what's possible when you set your mind to something. His coach, Larry Wade, reveals that Jake's preparation has reached a new level. Initially, Tyson might have underestimated Jake, Wade reflects. But after seeing Jake fight, Tyson knows he has to take this seriously. Now Tyson is locked in, ready to bring his a game. Tyson himself is unperturbed by critics. 
He focuses on his training, refining every aspect of his preparation. He acknowledges the excitement of fighting in front of a massive audience. I'm 58 and I'm fighting in the biggest arena ever, Tyson says, clearly inspired by the scale of the event. Training hasn't changed much, he notes, though he now emphasizes recovery. I get more massages, Tyson quips, but I'm still boxing eight rounds a day, three minute rounds. Tyson's work ethic speaks volumes. He's not just relying on past glory, he's working to ensure he's ready for the challenge ahead. Joe Rogan, reflecting on Tyson's prime, recalls the ferocity that defined his earlier years. From 86 to 89, Tyson was a juggernaut, Rogan says. He was unstoppable, a different model of fighter. Rogan warns that anyone underestimating Tyson now is making a mistake. There's a dark chamber in his mind he can open up, Rogan notes, referencing Tyson's legendary intensity. Logan Paul, Jake's brother, shares a similar sentiment. While supportive of Jake, Logan urges Tyson to take the fight seriously. People underestimate Jake, Logan warns. But Tyson needs to be prepared. Tyson, however, isn't underestimating Jake. Anyone is capable of killing you, Tyson says, reflecting on his decades of experience. His words reveal a deep understanding of the fight's stakes. Jake, too, acknowledges the challenge, expressing respect for Tyson while remaining confident. Mike, I love you, Jake says, but no matter what, you can't beat me. It's a passing of the torch. Tyson responds with equal confidence, emphasizing the significance of the event. This fight inspires me, Tyson states. It's time to perform. Both fighters understand the magnitude of the moment. For Jake, this is about proving he can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a legend. For Tyson, it's a chance to show the world he's still a force to be reckoned with. As the fight approaches, the anticipation builds. Jake is determined to rise to the occasion, while Tyson aims to remind everyone why he's a legend. With everything at stake, this matchup promises to be more than just a fight, it's a clash of legacies, a battle between generations, and a testament to the power of determination. Mike Tyson isn't here to play games. With a fight just around the corner, he's made his intentions clear. I'll slaughter him. These words, heavy with intent, leave no doubt about Tyson's mindset. His training reflects his resolve. Every punch and every movement is calculated, a testament to his preparation. This isn't just talk. It's a message to Jake Paul and the world Tyson is ready to back his words with action. On day two of his rigorous training, Tyson's focus is sharper than ever. His longtime confidant, Gene Kilroy, affirms his preparedness. Kilroy's words, filled with admiration, reveal just how impressed he is. This is the strongest I've ever seen you, Kilroy says, recalling the years he's known Tyson. I was worried about him traveling here and there, but now I can sleep at night. Kilroy's endorsement.